Hello class, this is section 5.6 and in this video we are going to derive the Rayleigh quotient and as a reminder the Rayleigh quotient is a formula to find the eigenvalues of a sturm louisville problem. So naturally we start with the sturm louisville equation and as a reminder the phi here refers to the eigenfunctions and lambda the corresponding eigenvalue p and q are just real continuous function and sigma x is also a real continuous function but one that is positive so what we do is that we first multiply by sigma x sorry by phi x and integrate we impose boundary conditions from a to b of course and we note that we can pull the lambda here out of the integral because lambda does not depend on x unlike every other term in the sturm louisville equation this is equal to zero and this allows us to just solve for lambda take the negative sign over here the fraction and the numerator is going to be this thing copy and paste this will be a numerator and for our denominator, we're just going to take this term, copy and paste, there you go. All right, and this gives us a formula for lambda that looks pretty close to the Rayleigh quotient, but not maybe not quite there yet. And we proceed beyond this using integration by parts. In particular, look at this nasty term over here, and this is something that we can make a little simpler. So we copy and paste that term, and we can note that this is just can this can be seen as a u, and this can be seen as a dv. And by integration by parts, this can be set equal to uv minus v du. So u is just phi x clearly v is going to be the integral of dv so dv is the derivative of that term so v is just the same term but without the derivative so we have px d phi dx of x and we subtract v which is the same thing as before um, this time the second term for integration by parts is always an integral so we have px d phi dx x times du which is the derivative of phi but that's another d phi dx term and our boundaries are always the same boundaries as the original integration by parts so a b here and the second term the first term also has have a boundary of x from a to b so given this integration by parts calculation we can rewrite this expression to be lambda equals this is a minus sign so this is a minus sign so this should be a minus sign too minus phi x px d phi dx x actually why do we even need the bracket let me just erase that and this taken from x equals a to b and we can then see that we have a minus sign here so this refers to a plus sign two minuses make you make a plus so we have plus integral from a to b of px so we can just write down these two derivative terms as a square so we have d phi dx x squared and the last term is this qx phi x squared term and this is a minus sign so we are subtracting that minus qx phi x squared dx that's our numerator and our denominator is going to be an integral from a to b of sigma x phi x squared dx as it was before 
And this is exactly the Rayleigh quotient that we had sought to derive.